Hello and welcome. Ad-free versions and subtitles are available. It's hard to talk about garlic and carrots when the world out there is falling apart. Trump gets another term and with the popular vote. Meanwhile, the German government is dissolving. Fascism is on the rise everywhere and I am scared. I can't just talk about harvests. 140. I can't just talk about carrots. October 25, 2024. I'm putting myself all the way out there with this video, but I can't just be quiet about what's going on. On the very day when the US re-elected the worst embodiment of patriarchy and fascism, Germany got more bad news. In Germany, we have many more parties than in the US, and they form coalitions to govern. Last election, the so-called Social Democrats formed a coalition with the Greens and the Liberals. Many people had high hopes for this progressive government. Many people were disappointed. The FDP, our Liberal Party, only has a few percent of the vote, but they held a lot of power over the past years. They blocked German laws at every turn, even managed to derail important EU legislation. As a governing party, they could force Germany to abstain from votes. This affected all of Europe. And then they started courting the right. When the AFD, our right-wing party, gained traction in some state, they began to fold. Instead of standing together, fighting for basic human rights, diversity and kindness, they folded. Our Social Democratic Party began spouting racist bullshit about remigration, our current buzzword for deportation. The Greens stood by idly, something they seemed to have done all their term. I'm ashamed to have voted for them. A kind of verbal arms race to the bottom of the rhetoric pond began. The AFD just had to sit back and watch. This was the first government without the CDU-CSU involved in a very long time. The party that pretends to uphold Christian values had left the current government with a shit show. They spent 16 years derailing progress on the social and climate crises. Then they blamed the current government. On November 6, the day we learned that Trump was getting another term, this government failed. I was doom scrolling through news about Trump's then certain victory when German news interrupted the flow. The Chancellor had just fired his finance minister and kicked the Liberals out of the governing coalition. The governing coalition was broken. The Chancellor would start procedures for early elections in spring. I hold no love for the neoliberal economy is everything the market will regulate assholes. A party with a few percent of the vote should not have this much say. But during his speech, the chancellor announced he'd start procedures for confidence vote in January. He wanted to finish a few things without a majority government, mind you. When he listed what he wanted to finish, I wanted to scream. They weren't sticking it out for us, the voters. No, they were sticking it out to hand bailouts to the dying German car industry and to fuck with asylum seekers. The so-called Christian parties are rubbing their hands. Our version of Trump poised to run for chancellor next. They call themselves Christian Democrats or Socialists. They pretend to distance themselves from the right. 
But they don't believe in loving your neighbor. They don't uphold the basic Christian values they pretend to stand for. Instead, they talk about building back the wind turbines, keeping out asylum seekers, and putting Germans first. Current polls are as scary as the US ones. We could reasonably end up with a coalition of fascists. With Trump soon in power in the US, the EU is shifting to the right, and now Germany will join them all. Like in the US, people don't get what they are voting for. They vote for simple answers that sound good without even questioning their validity or thinking about consequences. A few years ago, I asked my neighbor why he voted for the liberals. The answer was scary. He thought he'd someday be part of the wealthy Germans who benefit from the neoliberal ideal. He voted for a potential future that would likely never come by paying with his current reality. I've talked to many of my neighbors about why they vote for the right-wing AFD or the Christian parties. They are buying the rhetoric, the propaganda, the brainwashing that's happening all over Germany. For the past years, Germany has talked about nothing but migrants. Even the central parties joined the circus. They have normalized the racist rhetoric of the right, so the right kept adding more extremes. They managed to simultaneously believe that migrants steal our jobs and that they are all lazy and on benefits. They think Germans have less money because the state pays for all those lazy migrants who don't want to work. No one talks about the rich. Whenever there's violence, it's either migrants or mentally ill. No sane German would commit a crime, right? The news has helped shape this narrative. They used a knife attack by Syrian to reinstate border controls. October 29. Meanwhile, no one talked about the three Muslim women who protected a victim when a German attacked didn't fit the narrative. Speaking up against Israel and what they do in Gaza is now officially anti-Semitic. All the time we have to fight against jet control, which has nothing to do with children. They incite fear, then use it to add more surveillance, to curtail rights, broaden the power of the state. The centrist parties took part helped shape this new present, and now the coalition broke. A new vote is scary, because we'll probably soon join the US in voting in a government that hates the other. I'm scared. I'm scared shitless of what comes next. Because I've been very open here on the channel, I won't be able to pretend I'm not a modern day hippie. I'm female, queer, disabled, and have spoken up against fascism and capitalism a lot. And with a final plea, I leave you for the day and recommend you go watch the fluffy version of this instead. We can't let the fascists win. We need to stand together against the brown wall of shit coming our way. So long. And thanks for being here. If you want to help me make these videos, go to rootsandcalluses.com slash support. Prefer reading, buy my novels to support me instead. Mm.